so now the recording is started yeah hi everyone uh, good morning and good evening to every one of you so since everyone of you know like this is sap ibp demo session and we are starting the consecutive training after this one and this session is going to be equally important because this is going to be a stepping stone for the upcoming sessions so the agenda of today's session is basically we are going to understand the you know functionalities little bit of overview and benefits and how we are going to you know, you know uh this uh, ibp is going to be helpful for the clients and who are the participants i mean to say which are the consultants of sap are going to be beneficial with respect to the career perspective so everything we are going to discuss in detail here uh we have raghu with us he is basically is a solution architect okay he's having more than 18 years of experience all together in sap and he's working in sap ibp since his inception in the sense like since it started so he's part of ibp uh, from the beginning itself okay so he's a very knowledgeable person and he has trained so many participants so far okay and we have a very unique methodology of training as well which we are going to discuss shortly uh let raghu starts the demo session and for the you know since there are more number of participants so we don't want to be very crowded here in terms of you know everyone is speaking so we have muted from our end to everyone okay please note down all your queries whenever in between the session any of your the queries are coming please make a note of those queries we'll be having enough of time after the presentation you need to raise your hands and we are going to unmute one by one so that the whole demo session is going to be in a very proper and organized way so everybody of every one of you will be getting proper time to answer to get the answer of their queries okay guys so please cooperate thank you so much Raghu, over to you i'll be here only okay guys if you are having any very important question you can even put it in the chat box also we'll be addressing simultaneously thank you so much okay great thank you Elaj. Uh, so I will now just want to confirm you you are all able to see my screen. Right, Raj? Is that yes? Yes, yes. Yes, Raghu, we can see your screen very clearly. Yeah, the presentation okay. slide is there. You can see that. Okay. You can proceed. Hi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, all. Welcome to today's session. So today I will brief more about SAP IBP, which is the new solution offerings by SAP. So we will also know about a few important aspects what makes sap ibp as the next important planning tool and what are the different advantages it brings so we will start with uh, how our trainings are firstly planned and then probably i will also go further to describe how sap ibp is <coughs> making a difference in the different industries so for that first i will come to the agenda so we start with a gap analysis people so a gap analysis is briefs about what are the different prerequisites which are needed for us so probably uh, in the context of planning point of view people who there would be some people who have already experience with planning tools like sap apo or they can be people who have experience with execution systems uh, uh, like you say sap pp sap sd or mm so this and so there are a few important topics which briefs about how the planning is enriched it briefs also about how are we going to enrich our awareness about these new offerings of sap ibp what is the difference sap ibp brings onto the table when we compare it with the older technologies what we have and how it is different how it is adopting so those are the few important questions which will make to ourselves to realize how what is the reason that makes SAP IBP as the next look forward tool for multiple clients. Okay, so we have gap analysis. Then we'll be provided. We have further on the topics of the the detailed training content. My coordination team will which they should have already sent you or they will be providing you the training content which briefs about what are the different topics which will be covered. People followed by there's another important aspect which is user story now when we go to the user story so we see that there are different types of planners who are involved the planners you speak about a shop floor engineer or a production manufacturing executor or we speak about a sales marketing head and so there are different planners who are involved in the whole supply chain process so how sap ivp it brings 
a, a one single tool which is able to collaborate with different planning team at the same time how it is bringing the insights of each planner's insights to the global presence right so that's, that is how it is made possible what are the different modules of ibp we will take more deep dive of it in today's discussion so starting with the need of a new tool now already we had sap ecc sap apo which were the tools which are already available so there should be one small reason that makes sap to come up with new offerings right like let us say for example sap ibp so sap ibp it has the significance of using sap hana database it's a cloud solution so it's a, where you are able to access the information or the data from anywhere anytime and also from any devices now sap ibp is a latest version of planning tool so it has both excel interface web ui interface so we are going to see how how sap ibp would look like it it has the features of sap fury applications how it is going to make the user experience more enriched people we are going to see that at the same time we will also try to realize that sap ibp is bringing up new features by which the planners are also able to achieve the planning more easier way so we will see something called sap ibp excel add-on we will also realize that how sap ibp is increasing the efficiency of the planners by bringing a new interface altogether which is the first preliminary step what made them to be the pointers in the context of planning so we'll also realize that how sap ibp is making a difference okay now we <clears throat> coming to the sap ibp it's a cloud based planning technology as i mentioned earlier so we will also know about the planning accuracy people so the older technologies which we have been using since i would say more than 15 or 20 years the accuracy point of view we are still lagging behind so what sap i uh, has thought is let us why shouldn't we adopt to the new technologies for example ai ai stands for artificial intelligence now adoption of new technologies like ai will not only bring an advantage uh, to make the data processing or data mining more accurate but also at the, at the same time trying to make this digitalized world now we speak about the digitalized world and we also realize that the different uh, functions which are needed for the digitalized world they also need to adopt to this new technologies let us take an example um, if, I, if i speak about a 15 or 20 years back where we speak about the habits of uh, buying so probably we have a very less awareness about a product we have a very less scope of going for different variants probably if i speak about a mobile phone example people so you would say that okay ragu probably 15 or 20 years back probably if i have to buy a mobile phone i will go for a, a showroom and probably he would have already uh, uh, cased it already and i would buy i would pick it up maybe hardly i have an opportunity to select a color but think about now people how the the whole transformation is now so you know the the product awareness you know the features of it you know what are the different variants you can get and also you know what are the different competitors who are already available in the market so we speak about an e-commerce sites people we speak about online window shopping so which of course requires a different extent of planning and also it requires a different extent of realization of what could be the predictions for the new products in order to make this as a robust technology so sap has got up with this some future predictions which are more reliable and at the same time robust with the technologies like ai so how ai associated technology can be adopted by an erp solution like sap we are going to realize when we are further going to deep dive on how sap ibp has bought few important you say about the planning algorithms we speak about the the way of adoption of the data processing techniques which makes it a very unique thing okay so not only the advantage of cloud but also a planning tool which is able to adopt to the new technologies like ai makes sap a very unique product for most of the clients okay so the accuracy point of view if i say out of 10 units the production which earlier used to happen we would say okay around six to seven units they were predicted accurately 
so the accuracy point of view also they had a lot of challenges so we will speak about some aspects of sales and operations people how a whole sales and operations planning can be enriched the so people from execution system you already know what are the different challenges they would undergo we speak about ragu we speak about the collaboration ragu we speak about the planning overview or realization of the planning changes was not an easy task so how sap is bringing up this advantage how, what are the different modules of sap ibp which can leverage the advantage of it is also what we are going to realize people so there was of course a need for a new technology to come right in the context of adopting the new technologies like ai or also we have some other technologies like cloud based planning and also adoption of a few more new upcoming uh, technologies we speak about for example we have digital manufacturing cloud dmc we have yard management which are also new upcoming technologies in the context of execution system so how can we adopt to this technologies sap ibp is a one planning tool which gives an offering for adopting of the new technologies which are expected in the next 5 to 10 years of time in order to adopt to this so the, uh, all it has the necessary tools or necessary architecture which it can support so now let me introduce you what are the different modules of sap ibp say starting with sap ibp for demand planning followed by sap ibp sales and operations planning and sap ibp supply chain control tower and sap ibp inventory management sap ibp supply and response planning and sap ibp for dd mrp and shelf life based planning so while we realize the classification of modules we see it's not only going to support the long term planning people but also mid term and short term planning okay a one single tool which can support for this three extensive horizons of planning yes sap ib is useful to do that so selection of which associated modules a planner would need to do that we will when once we go further to the deep dive of this people we have a user stories a user story which brings about the industries like the life sciences the chemicals and these are the industries which have a lot of changes and we all are aware how was the situation in the, in the two years back like in the covid where there was an adoption of technology there was a need of adoption of what is the best way how i can fit to the whole uh, you know different regions for the for the you speak about the production you speak about the supply you speak about the procurement all of this is different challenges people which were not predicted but it is still there were multiple companies who were able to manage so in if you, if they want to make a robust solution so of course sap ibp is one of the offerings which of course they are going to use so in those type of typical situations how planning makes a lot of difference in all the process we speak about material planning we speak about the production planning we speak about the procurement planning all of this how it is going to be managed what are the different methodologies we have what are the different features we have we will realize once we further deep dive on each of this module their significance they have in the context of planning and also how do they make the difference in the context of the different features they possess for the planner's point of view so most of the erp solutions they have been chosen because of the ease of their planning so sap ibp as i was mentioning it not only has a web based planning so we all have seen sap gui we we, we also refer it as people but sap has completely modified renovated into, into a two new interfaces which we say it as sap web ui planning and also we say sap excel ui planning so how do we make them how do we connect it so there are a lot of interesting things which I, which i will also wish to share with you and how do we also use sap ibp system we'll also do a certain uh, demonstration of system to also realize that the different potential functionalities of sap ibp <clears throat> so this is just a quick view of how would an sap ibp system would look like people so this is portraying the different theory applications it is also portraying 
and SAP Excel uh, UI. So on the top, what you are, uh, which we are able to see, it's a portrayal of how SAP IBP would look like in an Excel view. We will also realize the same in our system people. And also this is the way how it is uh, looking in the context of web UI. Now, what is the advantage it brings uh, to a planner's point of view? So we all know that we, we used to use the transactions if, if we have to realize the certain important uh, navigations or maybe as a planner, I should be also aware, how can I start using SAP easy access in order to view the different transactions. But now a planner can modify his screen. A planner can make his own transaction names or the, his own theory application names. And also a planner can customize his own his screen with what are essentially needed for him as a favorite. So there are a lot of different functions and features available people that make the user or the planner more uh, easy to understand how can he start using it. It's not more technical driven. When I speak about the, uh, the older systems, the awareness about the transaction is important for him in order to do his functions, but it is no more needed people because it's a self-explanatory and you also know that there, there are certain important information which is already pictorial before he would log into the theory app maybe for example if, if you all can observe the screen you see that it has something called planning filters he don't have to in, investigate how many of them are available but rather he can see right on the front of the screen and then if he wants to do, take the more details of it he can go further on to it, right? So this is the way it makes more ease of uh, realization of data for a planner. Questions for me? Okay. SAP IBP, if you all observe uh, on the screen, we will also realize in the system people. So it has different modules like SAP uh, IBP for demand planning or supply chain control tower inventory and also supply and response. So there are associated different applications available or different features available which can be used by the planner. So how do we realize that how is something called grouping is doable? So if a client has a situation of using more than say one module, how is he going to realize? So we will also going to do that with a case study or we also we see it as user stories people. The user story will reflect the real time problem statement and then realize how the tool with the different features it possesses is going to help us in the solving of the problem. That's the way how we will realize uh, the usage of SAP IBP uh, right in the uh, consideration of the problem statement and then realization of it to the different methodologies it possesses. So in order to have a quick questionnaire of why SAP IBP as a next generation planning tool. So here we are presenting what are the different industries which have already started using uh, SAP IBP and also a few important reasons are a few important features of SAP IBP that makes it to be a, the first planning tool which has been adopted across the globe. Let me start with the industry. So we speak about the process, discrete, FMCG, mill and mining industries. They have already heavily started using IBP implementation people and speaking about the integration capabilities. As I was mentioning, SAP IBP is a cloud based technology uh, adopted planning tool, it has a very huge integration capacity capabilities. So what are the different technologies it, it has? To the context of technologies, we have something called CPIDS, which stands for Cloud Platform Integration Data Services. It's a complete platform which has different offerings which are made available for SAP uh, IBP, which is a cloud-based. And then we have AI, as I was mentioning, and it's a cloud by itself and also HANA. So these are the different technologies by which it is able to make the integration more possible. So we, we can connect this SAP IBP system. We speak about a HTML screens. Yes, it is possible. You want to connect it to the shop floor with different uh, MES systems, or we speak about 
the on-premise cloud systems it is possible so there are different apis which are already in place we will speak about also those apis we will also realize that sap ibp has the four vision about the need for adopting to the new ways of connections of systems like we speak about connection of sap ibp to the social media networks you speak about facebook so connection to this type of networks was not a, was not possible with the older versions for sure so but now as the need of data we speak about exchange or we speak about extraction of data so there is a need for the client to also get connected to this different types of systems so making the system ready for this type of adoptions is also done because of the adoption of cpids cloud platform integration data services by sap then what are the different advantages we also see is about the web ui and excel ui and single sign on and theory applications so these are the different other important reasons that makes the user experience more effective and also the functions like custom algorithms quick upgrades data load functionalities and navigation assistance these are the different other features and functions that are being highly appreciated by the clients uh, for, from these different industries and which was again uh, had a very strong i would say planners feedback that made them to proceed further for the new and new features to be added for every release so if you are all aware uh, for your, for your information for every 3 months sap ibp comes with a new version so you would say that okay for every 3 months it was going to be an improvement of the tool yes so that makes sap ibp a very unique one so for every 3 months people we will see new features being added so we will also speak further how are we going to adopt to those features while we further go into the deep diving of the discussions we will also realize how sap is making is an automation process how it is trying to adopt to this new platform of technologies and being added and further other diff different information as we further deep dive into the topics of how do we start implementing sap ibp in the clients uh, overall landscape <clears throat> So yes, a cloud platform integration services, uh, which is an advanced data mining options, what it possesses of. So it also is the one of the important advantage SAP IBP comes, where it is not only bringing the advantage of uh, managing of different source systems or target systems, how the data has to be pulled or pushed. And also it is trying to help the clients to see how quick or the data can be bought. So we have something called RPI real time data integration which is again a new feature or functionality which is made possible with sap ibp by which it's like real time data integration people so speak about in an execution system i do a sale or the punching and relevant to this information if it has to be posted to sap ibp it is doable now so thing, we will all know that okay when we are two different systems ragu there's every time an opportunity that the, the data is going to be a mismatch or the data has to be updated on a very frequent basis so now it's not a very tedious job because sap ibp has cloud platform integration where the data is being updated or executed with a very fast uh, data load of features and functions that makes it to a real-time data integration so we will speak more about how these two different features are achievable and more about it in the further discussions so as i was mentioning that we do our uh, different user stories we speak about the different uh, pl players who are involved we speak about the different challenging statements they are processing and also we realize that how this different uh, players who are involved in the context of planning, what are the different challenges they undergo, how SAP IBP is going to offer. So we will also do the different user stories people in the process of realization of the different challenges we undergo in the context of planning. So we are referring to the planning. So it also has the processes of make, it has the processes of procurement, it has the processes of production, it has the processes of delivery, it has the process of returns, and also it has the processes of enablement. There are a lot of different processes involved, different planners who are involved. So one single solution which can enable or which can give the 
platform to connect or collaborate to all of them is doable with the help of SAP IBP. So uh, I will stop the screen share for a moment now to quickly also see SAP uh, Fiery UI interface. Okay, can you please confirm is the screen visible already? Yes, uh, yes, it's visible. We can see the Great. system access. Great. Okay, so people, so currently we are observing uh, SAP IBP Web UI. So, as I was mentioning, that we have wonderful theory applications available and they are been arranged as expecting to the different planners who are involved. So it's it's going to be a very user friendly and also it has different features and functions what it can be useful for. And we will realize that each of these features and functions, they are made more easier, user specific, and also it is customizable. So I was referring to a situation where probably I want to make my own fairy app. Yes, we can do it. We also refer it as styles where I can make my own tiles to be created that makes my plan as a planner's point of view, a customized screen people. So if I say that probably uh, I want to manage the navigation of this theory tile in a different fashion, I can do it. Or if I say that probably I want to do a shift of the color and all, which is much more easier people, just for a quick realization. For example, I would say uh, the, the color point of view, uh, I want to do a modification. So you can see that it it, it has a, a quick change to the planning, uh, the, the whole screen visualization point of view. How about the different apps to be visible to me? So here you all can see a planner can have a quick understanding of each of the apps. For example, I'm going to pick one of the theory app manage abc xyz there is no need for the planner to know uh, the technical brief of it but probably he can also know by himself like for example i'll take something this fashion what is this app for and system would give me a quick information about this specific theory app what is the advantage it brings what is the purpose of this fairy app? How a planner can start using it? What are the different functions it, or features it consists of? All this information is available for the planner. Okay, so how about the specific field-wise information? Yes, we also have it, which we generally have, we will refer it as F1 help in our older SAP offerings people. For example, I'll go here. This is a theory app which speaks about planning areas. You will realize more about this each of these functions, how can it be used, and so on. So
system is providing us a quick realization of what each of this function means how it can be used a more details about it can be bought for us right at, a, at the screen so that brings us a, cre a very innovative a creative way of realization of each of its functions how can i know more about it under the details so as i was mentioning that sap ibp it's not stabilized with all the functions what it has but it is bringing new more advanced features and functions people so we have a lot of notifications which we will also know about or we will see that a lot of announcements we will know about to know that these are the new features have been added and start using it so this is the one of the tool which is trying to adopt the new changes so all of you you know that okay once if there is any any of the tool or any of the planning system if it adopts to the changes you all know that it is going to be a very uh, successful by its planning or its presence because it is trying to adopt to the changes so that is what is achievable with sap ibp that's the very important reason that makes clients to realization of their landscape with sap ibp so this is a quick view people so of course we have a lot of other features and functions what we will realize about so it's for a quick realization i have took one of the theory apps so we have a lot of functions which are available how do we realize them what are the different situations we will start using them we'll try to know more about it as a further deep dive to our discussions so as i promised i have also sap ibp uh, excel ui based planning so you all can see that uh, this is sap excel based planning okay how do i know that it is excel ragu so i'll go to the very initial page for example let me open a new tab so you see this is your normal excel people so you have a complete list a bunch of features and functions you call you all can see it here and this is the way how sap has bought a difference people so each of this feature and function how can they be used how can they be you know, managed in the context of planning? We will realize that as we deep dive into the topics further uh, for each of these different IBP modules, which I have uh, shown you in the previous slide. So not only usage of this tool as a planning, but also in the context of realization, in the context of collaboration, how are we going to use this tool? What are the different features it has? We will we'll speak more about it in the further discussions where we will see SAP has have a great orientation for collaboration. I'm gonna speak about something called SAP Jam. You people will also realize that this is a, one of the very really useful tool uh, in the context of collaboration. We, this is, we have seen in our previous client experiences, we used Jira, we used uh, Solution Manager, and we have used different, uh, we speak about Prelo, which are the different tools which we have used people for collaboration but sap has built such a collaboration tool within the system so that you, you have a clear transparency of what's continuing what is the on job which is which have been processed for each of the objects by the different planners can be realized by us within the same sap tool so we'll also realize how sap jam is going to be used further when we are going to take the further deep dive of different modules of sap IBP. <clears throat> okay. So I will keep into the nutshell about how our training journey is. So as I mentioned, we will start with all the prerequisite people, which we also refer to as gap analysis. So in the context of gap analysis, we will speak about a few important terminologies or we speak about what are the different architectural wise changes they have bought when we compare it with the older sap systems which are available for us so how sap not only the planning system but also the execution system uh, they, they are able to adopt to these changes what are the different other additional uh, features which are available for us in order to make this possible so this is what we are going to realize and that is gap analysis discussion followed by system tool where we will try to know about the different navigational and also the different tricks and uh, when we are working with this technology which is with the real-time projects experiences what we have gained and at the same time 
we will also speak about the different configurations and transformations which are needed so where we speak about the different rules we follow we speak about the different uh, say the customization scope people how do the customization scope is realized in the context of projects where we have to realize the scope of adoption of the current landscape to the new technology how are we going to do it is what we refer it under this configurations and transformation process followed by assignments and assessments the so assignments will help you to realize more about how these features which are available for us they, they can be used what are the different ways it is achieved in the current legacy system uh, which we are uh, having already and how it is made more easier is what we realize and we also have assessments people where we are going to take a few important questionnaires at the same time we are also going to give you a quick uh, forms which will help you to realize the adoption of the new features how can they be done so in the assessments point of view our user stories will help us a lot because they are speaking about the real time problem statement and how can they be used uh, with the different features then followed by the very important one what's new so to be a market ready consultant we need to know what is the new features or new changes which have been done to the planning tool is what we are also going to take into our discussions in our whole training journey questions for me Okay, I'll go. So <clears throat> there are a few important uh, resources what you can take back from the uh, from our training. So we will provide you uh, the, the all the participants with the PDF files or you know the word documents which are uh, the different user stories. Which will be built, which can be accessible by you, and also we have a classroom where we will uh, have an online forum where you can post your questions, and we can also share the ideations, which is possible for us. Then, what are the different other uh, resources? What you can also get is, of course, you have the essential trainer narrated documents, topic-wise assessments, and the results, and understanding of case studies to match the aspirant's experience. So this has a few additional things. Which we will also be doing in the context of this training. Okay. Okay, uh, Eraj, are you there already? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, <clears throat> yes, Raghu, I'm here only. So yeah. I guess like you have done with the presentation, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay, great then. So guys, uh, as discussed by Raghu, this is not going to be a kind of, uh, you know, normal uh, kind of training where you are going to get only the theoretical knowledge. So here we'll be majorly focusing on the scenarios. <laughs> okay completely scenario based training so if at all you are going to be on board in any project of ibp it would be very easier for you to you know uh, take it forward on your own without any other help in any and other people's help i can say and also this training is going to be you know cover each and every most of the topics i can say so all the topics we are going to cover here and the idea behind this training is to make you everyone ready for the future projects and if you any one of you are the aspirants for getting the job in SAP IBP. So that's really going to be very much helpful for everyone. So before we quickly, uh, you know, take up the question and answer sessions, I, I really want to show you, let me check it whether I do have the collaboration, which we, so we used to share, uh, let me share my screen so that, you know, it would be a little easier for everyone to, you know, get a glance over it, how we are going to, you know, work on the collaboration part over here. So here you see guys, I think everyone of you can see the screen. Everyone of you can see my screen. 
so uh, one second huh? this is how we are going to share the uh, uh, collaboration of the recordings and other documents okay yeah uh, so here in the previous uh, you know the batch which we have done it here okay ibp batch so here all the session recordings are going to be like this so this session is going to be approximately you know uh, 30 to uh, sorry 35 to 40 hours or around 40 hours of duration the whole training Additional to add to Eraj point, people are uh, there. Sorry, sorry, guys, there was some disturbance. Yeah. Uh, am I audible to you now clearly? Yes, 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 Eraj. Are we? Here you, you see, guys, so we, we, we are doing this particular training, means like not this IBP training, but other training since two, 2011 onwards. So we do have almost 11 years of experience. Uh, we are carrying forward all the trainings, most of the you know cloud based trainings, also, we are carrying forward. And uh, we do have a standard method of doing it and in our batch. So the batch would be approximately 10 to 15 participants in every batch. And we are taking up all the experienced participants here. Okay, there are no fresher. The questions which are coming here in the discussion are not going to be novice questions, okay? So all the questions are coming from the experienced participants. So that is really going to be helpful for everyone in the collaboration also, okay? So these are the quick things and we are also, you know, at the end of the batch, we are creating the WhatsApp group among all the participants so that it would be easier for the healthy discussion in the coming days also. Okay. So Raghu, can we just take up the questions and sessions now? Yeah. So there was one question about on off campus of SAP ECC. Will I Will IBP work be helpful? Can person with SAP ECC application experience can shift career to IBP? To answer this question, yes. So the you people who with having execution experience also they can adopt to this, and you will have more realization of the new offerings like the SAP S4 HANA. How can they be adopted to the planning tools? Yes. So I would say yes. This is the right time for you to start investing in SAP IBP as it is trying to still emerge with new and new features. Okay, so Raghu, what I can suggest is uh, we can take up the questions from the people who raise their hands. So guys, if you want to unmute your mic, you please raise your hands, then we are going to unmute you. Okay. So first is, uh, I think, uh, Anil Modi, would you please go ahead with the... You need to unmute yourself and uh, go ahead with your question. Maybe Kalyan is available. Kal Kalyan? Yeah, I'm available. Am I audible now? Yes, yes, you are audible, yeah. Kalyan. Yeah, I have a bit more briefer questions, so please bear with me. Uh, no I have been working in IPP since last one year in a support project. Uh, and I got uh, awareness on model configurations. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I may take you back for a, for a while. So I wanted to um, learn or get exposure on more of the conceptual uh, uh, content as in, let us say if it is in demand, uh, we'll mm -hmm. be discussing forecast models, where in which uh, mm -hmm. interquartile variance tests and uh, different other algorithms, forecasting uh, model yeah. algorithms. So how mm -hmm. those will fit into business or as per the business requirements, uh, which algorithms are we are go uh, going to pick or decide to configure. And uh, before going to that, uh, uh, will you also take up a session on how to uh, establish the connections between ERP or S4 HANA to IBP or uh, we are we going yeah. to directly start from IBP? Yeah. So thanks for bringing up a very useful question, Kalyan. So as I mentioned, we start with the realization right from the user story where the, the clients have still not in say SAP IBP. How do we do a realization of it? What are the different steps we follow? Whether we speak about a situation where the client is quite new to SAP IBP, 
but uh, but of course he has the uh, sap ecc and apo the transformation of it or probably the, the different use cases what we are going to see how about a client who has a greenfield implementation or brownfield implementation right so how do we do that so realization of the systems what are the different features we should start using it and so on so of course we will start with this gap analysis which i referred to and then go into the actual training content so that's the way how we will do so that uh, gap analysis will it consists of uh, configuring the whole also system as an interface mm -hmm. yeah In interface between uh, sap to ibp like uh, we'll be having right and uh, when coming to the supply part uh, do we cover uh, a scenario based training as in some test cases related to heuristic unconstrained constrained heuristics in which we have different more uh, settings like uh, fair mm -hmm. share distribution carry over negative projected stock so each one have its own uh, you know scenario so now will we discuss all those scenarios and can we get uh, uh, some materials or practice materials having some sequence of steps configurations so all those can we expect uh, those things from this training uh, so if, if i classify this uh, detailed test scripts and all uh, that is not in, in this case because we have a test system which is not which is similar to a standalone system which is not compared to a standard sap s system so in that case test script execution is not possible i, uh, I should admit this but yes a quick awareness of the steps which should be followed in the context of sap ibp yes we, you, you can expect that okay so in your system uh, like uh, in our demo system which we are going to see and uh, you are mm -hmm. going to share it as a part of training will that con uh, consist of optimizers also right uh, some s and op optimizer it has and so uh, there would be some constraints hard constraints pseudo constraints soft constraints mm -hmm. wherein which system will uh, go and check everything and then accordingly will uh, exhibit the results receipts so will you brief all those things by maintaining in the master data types and uh, settings mm -hmm. and then show us or is that some theoretically uh, you are explaining the uh, importance of each and everything and uh, just we can see the end results which uh, like which type of training uh, scenario it could be when it comes to optimizer trainings yeah so we are not focusing only especially on only one specific module kalyan just to additional to add so yes of no, course i am covering will... everything uh, as a part of bits and pieces i am bringing up okay. my queries okay okay sure so coming to supply yes we will uh, speak about optimizer also we will speak about the heuristics execution point of view what are the different steps we need to follow so yeah that is there so but if you speak about each field and all you all you all can know that 40 hours it becomes a project training but rather than a, a, a complete awareness program right so but it's not mm -hmm. about each field wise and each setting and and then the simulation of it but rather a, an overall view a details about it and how can that feature and function can be used that is a, something what you can expect from us no, the same is applicable for inventory optimization okay. is it a part of our training inventory optimization i hope yeah. inventory optimization we will speak about the basic master data functions uh, yeah that would be the expectation from inventory so our modules of cover would be sap ibp demand supply chain control tower s and op supply and also uh, we will see the the audience if they are also willing for sap ibp response because that is a complete again a different model altogether configuration that will also be an ask uh, separately but for, for these three modules, SAP IVP uh, is going to be used for us uh, in our training discussion. So Supply. it was uh, initially in one of the screenshots. Demand. Yeah. Yeah, shall I ask? Please continue. Yeah, in, uh, in one of the screenshots I saw uh, in the training contents where in which shelf life is a part of uh, the point. So are we Correct. discussing that also? We will discuss about it. We will discuss also about the shelf life based associated topics, but we will not go to the complete deep dive, deep dive people. So as you all know, so all the depending on the usage of point of view, not all clients would use 
shelf life planning but yes and a complete awareness about it is a useful uh, topic so we also brought this additionally to our uh, curriculum okay so basically we will be discussing on time series uh, based plannings not order based i guess yeah it is also there uh, but I, I we we have to configure it with a, if any specific business point of view they want it to be required, to be cast, to be added the training content can be added but as of now it's more focused on time series only no that's all from my end thank you thank you <clears throat> i see, i think anil modi uh, one's trying to unmute. one second yes 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 so before we proceed i just want to add a few things to kalyan's queries here so kalyan you see we are trying to cover most of the topics like all almost will try to cover all the topics uh, in our upcoming trainings okay and 40 hours is the constraint okay in which sometimes you know as we are the you know we are expecting the participants here are from majorly from apo background background or any other background so uh, it would be really impossible for us to sh show each and every field of it sometimes okay so uh, by seeing the fields uh, you guys will be you know smart enough to understand what exactly is going to be and but from our end we'll try our best to you know cover most of the things and there are certain constraints with respect to the access which will be uh, you know using it here as the demo system okay and whichever the constraints are there even for the real time integration and kind of things so that will happen only one time okay so for next time if you want to do it then again the whole system need to be redo so all these things will be covering very well in a documented way which are very small part of it but major part we are going to cover everything in detail and our main intention over here is going to be make you as a you know near to an ibp consultant where you can start working on any project so that is our main intention over here okay thank you so guys what i'm going to do here is i'm let me uh unmute everyone one second just a second okay so guys uh, i guess like you can unmute yourself can you just unmute yourself uh, anil can you just unmute yourself uh kalyan you just mute yourself i think those who are having any queries you can put it in the chat window also so there are certain uh, queries are there in the chat window uh, raghu i am going to read it for you uh yeah kalyan was there yeah training material we will be sharing to you training contents we will be sharing to you kalyan so one of the campus sap ecc uh on off campus scp ecc will ibp work slash be helpful can person with scp ecc application experience uh shift career to ibp yes as i mentioned earlier so you can shift yeah. to this new career opportunity so it's a new to market and also for, for the context of planning and execution it brings a difference people so this is the right time for you to start yeah so there idea. is one more one question which is frequently coming here is uh, you know what are the prerequisites to learn ibp <clears throat> so prerequisites of ibp will cover in our gap analysis people so you you come with if, uh, execution experience also still it is fine because we are still going to cover it in our gap analysis discussion if you have already experience with planning uh, experience so it's uh, it's going to be a value added advantage if not yes you can still uh, come with your execution experience also yes so what all uh, different learning or career uh, can be expected from ibp like web de uh, developer ui functional testing etc this is asked by jagan so ibp provides you functional experience for sure functional experience because it is going to have a 
end to end visibility what we refer it to jagan so probably you will see the different connections from different processes so fun functional experience is of course it is going to be enriched coming to testing yes you have ad additional career aspirations like for example you can also uh, if you want to also deep dive if you come with the technical experience so tpi technical consultant with experience or understanding of ibp is one of the neat requirements in the market now the reason being integration holds a lot of uh, new job opportunities or i would say uh, it's like a, currently it's the new opportunity stream where there are very less people because people they are available with technical experience people but realization of the system like ibp is completely new so only an awareness about how ibp works what are the different features of it and functions of it and then the technical aspirations of it brings you or makes you a, a very unique uh, me skilled guy in the market yes very good uh, ragu one second i think there is some issue is happening for the people to unmute themselves let me try once ragu okay one second huh? i'm i'm muting everyone and unmute everyone one second huh? i guess everyone got muted now so i'm going to unmute everyone just a second guys yeah so guys i guess like you can unmute yourself anil would you please try from your end unmute yourself and try hi hey, rajan this is uh, santosh yeah yeah hi santosh please go ahead yeah uh, uh, are you going to cover uh, the integration part in this training uh, with respect to the order series especially yeah we will speak about important steps we will have to follow when we are going to work with sdi so th that's the scope of our discussion although is di okay, there is obsolete. one more so so are we going to cover the rti as well uh, in this training or is it only confined to sdi it's only confined to sdi as you know rdi is still in the roadmap so there are so there are few more changes which are already happening and we have our new webinar with sap already which is planned for the next month so it's not a fully matured product rdi is already for your awareness so we it cannot be part of our training yes santosh hope your question got answered okay there are, yeah thank you so there are few yes. questions in the chat window so i'll read it for you ragu okay will uh, training help us to prepare for bp certification if yes will you provide related material so coming to certification so it's a different so let me tell you in this way so for any certification not just for the ibp or any other certification you take going through your standard material is an essential exercise what you have to do but when you are going through your standard materials understanding or realization of it it becomes essential to make yourself comfortable and this training for sure makes yourself very much comfortable with the topic so it, it becomes easier for you to go through your standard material yeah in short i can say like uh, definitely this training is going to be very much helpful and there is lot of hands on required for you guys to understand to answer the queries because the most of the certifications requires you know skills uh, like hands on skills they are going to test it so 60% of practicality of the things you need to be very much aware of this one and this regular training always we focus on the you know practicality of the things real time experiences where you are going to get it over here okay and, and material of course yes will be providing on demand like if somebody really wants to you know get the material for sap uh, this ibp training certification definitely we can 
and there is one more query is it required to have knowledge of sap ap or programming to go with this career yeah for ibp i SAP would say AP. no yeah our programming i would say no but if you have it it's just an higher advantage yeah. yeah apo knowledge is going to be an additional advantage but there is no need of programming knowledge i guess not needed at all Programming, yeah, programming is automatically is zero. No, no programming knowledge is required here. Yes, APO is going to be plus point for you guys, but it's not mandatory to go ahead with. Are we going to cover CPIDS and SDI FTAI order series in this training? I think this question has been answered already. I am an yeah. SAP PP consultant. Can I directly learn IBP without APO knowledge? Yes, of course you can learn. This answer is indirectly answered. This question also is indirectly answered. So there is no need of uh, uh, conventional knowledge of APO as such, guys. But if you are having APO knowledge, that's going to be a plus point for you. Yeah. So yeah, the mic is open for everyone, guys. So please unmute yourself and you can ask the queries, whichever the queries that you want. Or please raise your hand so that you know, I will be helping you out to manage it. You can see a small icon over there at the bottom react where you can see a hand kind of icon you please click on there you can raise your hands so that you know you can take up the question answers so more number of queries more interaction you'll be getting more understanding or if somebody is you know don't like to speak out over here they uh, can put it in the chat window as well they can put their queries in the chat window as well Is there any more queries, guys? So I don't think so. Any queries are there in the chat window. And if the direct interaction you want to have it, we can answer your queries in a better way. Please raise your hands and unmute yourself and come up with your queries. I see so one question. What I think, would be the uh, duration? It's 35 to 40 hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so guys i was just telling you like the course duration is going to be 35 to 40 hours and tomorrow is going to be the first session and every one of you are invited to attend the first session because in the first session we'll be uh, doing uh, we'll be starting directly with the system also okay so tomorrow we'll be seeing the interface and we'll be seeing the first session so that you know we'll be getting we a uh, feel of simulation of like how the uh, yeah yeah how the f sessions we are going to take it up so whether you are catching up uh, Raghu or not, because definitely, because he's a very experienced person. Uh, yes, yes. Can we have the full training contents? Yes, yes. Santosh will be sending you the full training contents in between. Yeah, after this uh, session or maybe tomorrow, we'll be sending you the full course contents as well. Those who are, you know, really interested for this to go ahead with. So other thing is like, uh, uh, since Raghu, Raghu actually working as is, I, I want to tell you one more point, which I have forget at the initial level. So Raghu is working like a solution architect here. So he's having very good knowledge. He's a pure, uh, you know, APO guy from the beginning. Okay. So then later on, he shifted to IBP. Majorly, he's working in IBP as a solution architect right now. So he's a very knowledgeable person. You can get his knowledge, uh, his project experiences also in your this particular training batch. So that's really going to be very much advantageous for you guys also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this training is basically going to be on weekends only. That's going to be only on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we have uh, approximately two and a half hours on Saturday and two and a half hours on Sunday. Uh, sometimes based upon your, uh, you know, comfort, we even can stretch the time, taking some break in between. Okay. So we'll try to cover approximately, you know, five to six hours or maybe seven hours in some for the, some of the topics, and we'll try to cover it in within six weekends. Okay, six to seven weekends. The whole training we are planning to cover it up and this is going to be only on the weekends that's going to be only saturdays and sunday evening 7 pm ist onwards okay yep so this is the schedule for this one and uh, of course the all the recording sessions which we are providing also going to be you know shared with you with the material like there is like standard sap material as well as the customized material by raghu for you know 
configurations and certain standard steps configuration so everything will be provided to you guys yeah and we have a very good support team also to work with you very closely yeah hopefully in the coming sessions it's going to be very interesting so that you know every one of you guys are going to be very much beneficial and really going to gain a lot of knowledge in with in sap ibp here yeah. so uh, i think if there are no questions we can conclude the session for the uh, ibp demo server access is provided for how long so usually for two months yes but uh, you see like ibp server since it's a cloud solution cloud server uh the thing is like some people want it and some people doesn't uh, some people don't want it okay yeah so uh, the thing is like those who are taking access along with the access the course fee the uh, cost of the training is going to be different along with the server access those who are not willing to you know take the access because they are uh, they are already working or they want to just learn the things without being practiced so they can compromise in terms of fee the fee will be a little less for them okay the course fee and all definitely we are going to discuss you can connect with our team so they are going to discuss or i'm going to put my number also over here okay so in the chat window i'm putting my number here plus nine one uh eight four zero double eight seven eight triple two so this is my number this the same number is on whatsapp also for the people who are you know outside india they can even connect me through whatsapp as well okay so i'll be very happy to answer your queries even like uh, related with ibp even related with any administrative aspects i'll be very happy to answer your queries so please connect to me also and the course we also we can discuss of the sessions based upon you know how you want it whether you want it with the uh, server access or without server access we can have the discussion of the session here okay uh and training yeah yeah so all these questions have been answered so still you have any one of you are having any queries guys yeah uh, dilip uh, uh yes uh, yeah. what are, what are the systems uh, like uh, let's say when when you are connecting the data with the cpids mm -hmm. into the demo system right so what system you are going to connect you are going to directly connect uh, the flat files or are you going to connect to the ecc and or s4 hana and bring the data into the system when you do Flat it's files. always flat files. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't okay. connect it to SAP as far no. Okay. So, Dilip, there are certain constraints here. I just want to tell you because we are having a demo session, and anywhere in the world, if you are going for the training, even SAP is giving the training for this one also. Uh, definitely, there will be you know flat file simulation only because S4 HANA system connectivity is going to be a little tedious process, and also. You know there are a lot of uh, people involvement uh, is going to be there over here so this is the constant but you'll be getting fair enough of idea even uh, after this you are working on s4 hana you'll be getting a fair enough of idea which will be discussing with respect to the you know screenshots and also the other documents helpful documents which will be helpful to understand how the process actually is going to be there when you are pulling the data from the source other source systems yeah, fair enough. And but uh, will you be covering anything uh, connecting CPIDS uh, as a demo to connect to the S4, or is it just going to be a more on the uh, theoretical? Uh, yeah, S4 is not possible, as I tell, told you. So okay. it's going to be that part is going to be you know restricted on the theoretical aspect only. Yeah, because there is a constant. We 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 don't mind connecting it if you bring the system. Okay, if you are saying okay, hey, I'm Dilip, I'm I'm. This is my system. Can you show it on this? Of course, we'll be very happy to show it. But only the constraint is we are trying our best to uh, give you guys as much as we can. Okay, if we have the resources, definitely we'll be very happy to show it over the system also. Okay, yeah. no, that sounds great. So we'll try to see if we can get the system access and try to share on that day when when sure. the CPIDS yeah. comes. Yes, yes, sure, Dilip. Yeah. So guys, is there anyone else? Please unmute yourself. Because you see, like as uh, as many questions you are asking, so those many ideas will be getting like uh, clarity. You'll be getting basically. So please come up with the queries, and we'll be very happy to answer your questions. And the same thing we follow in the training sessions also. We are not going to skip any one of your doubts. Unlike you know other, I don't want to compare us with any other uh, you know training partners or any other trainers also. We'll try our best. We want to be you know to serve you the best only here. So in the trainings also will always be you know help asking you to uh, 
get more number of queries so that you know let's make the session more interactive and more knowledgeable from everyone of uh, everyone's perspective i can say uh, sorry, uh, Dilip again here. Uh, just one yes. more question on the the volume. Uh, let's say when we are using uh, flat files, right? So typically, what is uh, the data volume we are working with? Dealing with, yes. Uh, so Raghu would be the right person. Dilip, for the realization point of view, we are creating our own flat files. So it's not hugely masked up. But for the realization of data point of view to our planning areas, how do we see the data visualization point of view? We are using flat files. It's not hugely loaded with a lot of records, but it's for quick realization. How can we use the features and functions in, the, in, in, the, in that uh, in direction? Okay, yeah, makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that really, as you said, like it really makes sense because you know, like if you are uh, using, you know, the data file which is having one million of records, the same process, or you know, hundred thousand records, the same process. Yeah. So we are majorly focusing on the process part over here. The steps we are going to follow, how it's going to look there. Yeah. Just I'm interested in like more on the permutations and combinations. Like you know, if you use oh, okay. you know more scenarios, right? You know, like it's a yes, sir, same yes, sir. same yes. same scenario. If you are in you know adding you know, more records, is not going to mm -hmm. help. But if you have like you know different scenario, like let's say you know you of have more it. customers and the more plans and more you know materials, so that way it's mm -hmm. going to be like more permutations and combinations, and you will be able to see you know different aspects of it. I agree with you. Totally agree with you, Digit. So we'll just try to not try to. We'll be incorporating all these things in our trainings. Yeah, sure, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, Kalyan so, here. Yes, Kalyan. Yeah. Is uh, Excel template configuration is also part of our training? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Excel. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Excel template configuration. You're saying, yeah, yeah. It is. All right. Uh, so, is there anyone else, guys? Okay, if no one is having any queries, so we can conclude the session for the day and tomorrow we'll start with the first session. So, I really request everyone to be there for the first session. At least you'll get the understand more understanding how it works. Then, later in the coming week, you can make your decision for the enrollment process. And on next Saturday, actual. Uh, enrolled participants are going to be part of our training then yeah thank you so much guys really appreciate your time and your questions very uh, you know uh, that's really be thankful from our end to you all thanks for spending time with us thank you so much and uh, raghu i really appreciate your knowledge sharing over here that's really good to you know come up with your trainings in future training sessions in future yeah thank you so much guys yeah thank you all and if you have any other questions also please try to connect to me offline i have ping my number over there you i'll be happy to answer it thank you so much we conclude the session for the day